Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol BIOAQ. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame, I think it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis on Friday, so that is where the red and green line annotations are coming from. But after today's price movement, definitely some updates here need to be done. First thing I'm gonna do is a little house cleaning and just get rid of this line down here. Sure, that level still pertains to the chart, it's just not relevant, and from a presentation standpoint, I don't wanna risk causing confusion and clutter because there's lines all over the place. So let's try to keep this as clean as possible and we'll just de get, uh, delete that line out of there. First up there though comes about based on a foundational rule in charting which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. So for those of you that did watch yesterday's, or the video from Friday, I talked about 0.078 as resistance, but now with the price above it, that would be that ideal level of support. Now don't get me wrong, if the price falls below 0.078, that doesn't mean that everything's totally ruined or anything like that. But ideally speaking, you know, and what would make the chart look the best, that would be 0.078. Now in the event the price falls below uh, 0.078, that's where we can kind of just take a step back and monitor the chart from a bigger picture type viewpoint. And that's where the purple line comes into play, the famous 50 period simple moving average. Keyword being moving. As time goes by, that line is just gonna move itself higher and higher. So a very basic, yet extremely you know, efficient and easy way to monitor the health of the move. This right here being defined as quote unquote the move. Just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full strength. However you can best visualize that, no questions asked. Again, yeah, staying above 0.078, that would be great. But grand scheme of things perspective, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. As far as levels of resistance, I'm not even gonna touch on those right now because in my opinion, top priority right now has nothing to do with breaking areas of resistance. It's just all about going through healthy consolidations and building higher bases because as long as there's higher bases being built over time, everything else will take care of itself, including breaking levels of resistance. So focus on building higher lows and then just sit back and let the trend do its thing. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.